What's going on gamers? Today we're going over simple voice chat and how to install it on your Apex server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Simple Voice Chat is a fun, simple proximity chat mod that allows you to chat with other players nearby in-game without having to use Discord or any other type of third-party system. This mod adds an extra level of immersion, and today we're going over how to install it. Before we dive in, let's make sure that you know that you can find any link you need in the description of this video, whether it's the actual page on our website or the mod download, you can find it all in the description. Without further ado, Let's jump into this awesome tutorial. The first version that we're going to cover is the plugin install. And what we're going to need to do is prep our server. So go ahead and stop the server with the red stop button. And once it's stopped, you're going to scroll down to where you see the jar file field section. And you're going to want to make sure that you're running a plugin friendly server. Our suggestion is paper and I'm choosing paper 1.16.5, but Spigot also works. A pop-up will appear and you're going to select change version then you'll click create a new world and finally you're going to click restart now from here we're going to go for the plugin and don't forget you can get the link in the description but type in simple voice chat and select the curseforge page that appears from here you're going to scroll down on this new page that's opened up and way past the features you're going to see the download section go ahead and click on the bucket spigot paper link that is there then you're going to go to where you see all files and you'll be able to pick whatever version you want in the versions to the right side of that. I'm choosing 1.16.5 again, so I'm gonna choose the latest version of that once I see it and I've highlighted it, made sure I know what it is. Then I'll click the orange download button to download it. This plugin is also dependent on another. So head back to the same page, click on the same link and instead click on description this time. Scroll down to where you see the big discord link and you see you also need to have protocol lib installed on the server and you're going to go ahead and select the protocol lib button in order to get to the next page from here you'll see a section that says recommended versions and underneath it you'll be able to click another highlighted thing select that then you're going to scroll down to where you see assets and you're going to select the protocol lib jar from here you're going to head back to your server once more click the red stop button to stop your server and then on the left hand side you'll click FTP file access. From here you can use your control panel password to log in or if you already have one cached you can just do that. So once you type it in or once you select login just go ahead and move to the next page where you can see the different types of folders and the one that we're looking for is plugins. Go ahead and select that. Next we're going to click the upload button on the left hand side. Once that loads up you're going to see a section that says add files and that's just what we're going to do. You're going to open up your downloads folder and you're going to highlight, click and drag both of the plugins that we've downloaded from CurseForge. And once they're at hundred percent, you're going to go ahead and go up to the top of your server and hit your server's name to get back to the main page of your panel. And then you're going to either start or restart your server to get the changes settled. Then you'll be good to go. Forge and Fabric are very similar, so we're going to be covering them basically the same way. What you need to do once again is prep your server, so go ahead and select either Forge or Fabric. In this instance, I'm using Forge 1.16.5 once again. Click Change Version, then Create a New World, and finally, Restart Now. Next, we're going to head back to the CurseForge page, so hit Simple Voice Chat in your Google search bar and select the CurseForge link that appears, or check our description. Then, once that new page loads, you're actually going to, this time, select Files up at the top next to Description. This time, we're going to scroll down to where we see Recent Files, and on the right-hand side of that, you're going to see something that says View All. This is where you can once again see all types of files that are allowed in this drop-down menu. I, again, am choosing Forge, so I'm going to go ahead and do Forge 1.16.5, and once I locate that, I'm going to go ahead and hit the orange download button on the right hand side. The same goes for fabric. It essentially is the same thing. You're going to find the version type that you want. And then on the right hand side, click the same thing. Back at our panel, you're going to stop our server once again. And once it's finally stopped, you're going to head to the left hand side 
where it says FTP file access. Once that loads, you're of course going to enter your password or use the cached one. From here, you're going to actually open up the mods folder. Once that's opened, you're going to head to the left hand side once more, hit upload, and well, you know the drill by now. Select the file that you want to upload and click and drag it into the add files section. Once it's at 100%, you'll be good to go. But once again, this is very similar to the fabric version, so it's no different. Just select the fabric file that you want as long as you're running the fabric jar and you'll be good to go. Next, head back to the top page of your panel, click start or restart to get your server up and running, no problem. We actually need to configure a couple of things and then the server will be up and running. So for paper, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is stop your server and head to the left hand side. And it's actually good to have a duplicate panel tab open so that you can quickly drag your IP address and copy and paste it. From here, you're once again going to go to our favorite location, the left hand side of FTP file access and select that. Next, you're going to select the plugins again for this path then you're going to select the voice chat folder that is in this new plugins folder. And on the right hand side, you're going to see an edit button next to voice chat server properties. The forge path is just a bit different. You're going to hit FTP file access and then select the world folder with the globe next to it. Then you're going to scroll down to server config file. Then you're going to see the voice chat server file. And you're on the right hand side, you're going to once again, click edit. This is where it's going to take you. and in either form, the only things you need to worry about are the bind address. So go ahead and erase the 0.0, .0 and input your own IP address in the bind address. And the second thing you need to worry about is the port. And once again, you're going to use your IP address, except this time you're going to use the port part. You're just going to use the dot numbers that go behind it. You're going to erase the original port that's there and copy in your port that belongs there. Click the green save at the top. And once you've done this for either version, you're going to go back to the name of your server, start or restart the main page of your panel, and then you'll actually be set for the mod. The mod itself is pretty simple. Caps lock is push to talk. In the bottom left, you can see when your microphone is going up, and that's how you know you're using the microphone. Of course, anybody that's nearby will be able to hear you. Next is M for mute. Simply put, this is how you mute your voice chat. From here, we're going to talk about H to hide. This hides any icons that are usually visible in the mod. That's all that does. Next is V for your general settings. This is where you can check your microphone, see if you're muted, change your voice chat volume, so on and so forth. You can even select the microphone if you have multiple microphones that are connected to your computer. From here, we're going to talk about G for group. This is where you can make groups specific to who you want to talk to. So you can name it whatever you want. I just named it my group. Then you can add any players so long as they're online. Well, that just about does it for this tutorial. It's pretty simple and it's a lot of fun. And once you get it up and running, you can ask any of the players that are playing on your server silly questions like this. Would turtles be able, to, be able to survive in icebergs like this? Like in, in cold, cold oceans like this? If their bodies are accustomed to it, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Well, that'll just about do it for this one, gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.